Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Box Automation Lab. This is Shureful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to automate hybrid Android app using APM. Just to let you know, there will be two parts to cover this topic because this is a quite a long topic. So this is the first part and there will be a second part too. So what does it mean the hybrid? So up until now, you know, if you see, if you cover my all the previous lecture, you have seen, you know, there was a demo app. It was a complete native app. And this general store, this is the app that we're using from our last uh, couple of lecture, which I said it is a hybrid app. So the, that it means it will have a two different view. It will have a native view as well as it will have a web view so let's see in a scenario so here is our home page and then let's see put it over here as just a name enter so enter a name just to you know select whatever it is and then let's shop click on up there and then there is up the product list over here just going to select one of them say just select this one add to card and then click on the the card and then over here if I click on the visit the website so if you could to complete the purchase so click on up there so then you will see it is redirecting to a web page like a browser okay so it's a web view okay you see it's redirect to me a Google page which is the web page okay since this is a demo uh, API so I mean uh, demo app so there is nothing else just our main uh, concern over here is it has a two view one was a mobile view and also this is a web view right so this web view or this browser view inside the, the mobile view okay this is not you know stand alone browser so we have a browser in the mobile you know which is a separate but this is this browser it's inside the web I'm sorry inside the mobile okay so when you have this kind of scenarios like you have an app and as well as you from from one of your app from your app there is an event and then after it's occurred that even like click or something's happen then it's take you to the browser and this browser is displaying inside the Android app framework right so this is called hybrid app so in that case how you are going to handle right so if you have to come over here do some things like you know click on the search box in our example we'll see we'll type something over there just to you know do some activities over there and then we'll get back to uh, our Android view our our so to get back to the, our our app you know you, you have to click on the over here in the back and then you are you know the back to your your app so how we're going to handle this so first of all this is called hybrid app when you have a mobile view as well as you have a browser or web view both together okay underneath one framework okay so this is even though it is a two different frame but it is all together underneath one frame underneath one app is it's called hybrid app okay so let's see that in a how we can handle it. So our scenario should be, we'll type something over here, okay, and then we'll select, you know, female, and then we'll click on, uh, let's shop. So this is our, the the homepage scenario, this is, you know, so if you, let's go back to our Eclipse, okay, in our, in our Eclipse, if you have covered our previous, my last two lectures, you know, in the last two lectures we have covered in this app you know there's a two different scenarios one is uh, what's uh, you know select the, this uh, the drop down options that type over here then select a, a radio button over here and then click on let's shop this one was one and then if you see 
and then this is what's our previous test case so this was this is was one and that was also we had another test case where we have can we have seen how to perform the toast masses because here if you just you know keep it a blank over here and then click on let's shop it will throw in toast measure uh, toast, uh, toast masses right so like this so how to perform so we cover that two, two examples so in this example since you know we're not going to cover the you know the toast masses we're going to do the positive test cases over here since our objective to see how we can handle the you know uh, browser view our web view over here right so from there from our previous lecture I will just copy the code from there so here from there so I will copy the code the first scenarios like uh, the drop down then name you know in a text field and also the click on radio button and after that you click on over here the let shop okay this is so up until this I'm going to copy so I hope that you know you have gone through that if you haven't gone through that you know please go back that previous last two lectures so that you know you do the practice you are familiar with the scenarios and you know that how to per, you know write the code how to perform that those actions and then you come to over here otherwise you know it's not gonna be easy for you to catch up to understand all those things right so copy this one and for this test cases I have created another class I give a name uh, hybrid test with the same our project over here in the same project we have uh, you know so this is our example the package inside the same package right I create a another class I give a name hybrid test since it's going to be uh, uh, going to do the cover the hybrid app and here is a uh, test method that I give a name do hybrid okay so let's make it this test method following the testing G features right system G annotation you all know it so however your mouse input the package okay so let's copy the code that will cover this is the scroll and select Canada option from the drop down right and then and then over here in the type name in the text field so in the text field we're going to type Jennifer and then you know we'll have to hide the keyboard so you know otherwise you know you will not able to click on let's let's shop that that button is uh, you know hide if you go back to it there again you will see if I just type something over here and then you see this uh, the keyboard is already displayed so if you have to hide this keyboard to hide this keyboard you know you have to click on up there and then you let shop this element will be displayed right so to do this I hope that you all know you know just, just we already covered those uh, those uh, part right so to do this we have a method is called hide keyboard and then over here selecting the radio button which is the female one and then I click up there this is the click for the let shop okay so that part it's been already covered I just you know copy the code and just give you high level now let's go back to our uh, there right so let's click on there so this part is done now over here what we are going to do we have a number of product you can see so let's scroll scroll up until up until uh, over here converse all easter this show okay this product okay converse this this one and then click on add to cart then it will be cart okay so how we can scroll we have cover also scroll scenarios how to how to handle the scroll uh, gesture right even uh, in an app we have cover so please uh, watch that lecture too okay I will share all the link below in the description too so that if you if you haven't covered please check that because I'm going to take the code you know from that previous lecture so we can you know use so come to over here I'm going to let's go to our code here so you will see we have scroll scroll demo or or lecture previous lecture where we have a code there is a you know the code for the scroll so we use um, the uh, the Android UI automator right Android UI automator method inside there is an object we have to pass which is the UI scrollable this object inside we have to do the parameter where we will have to 
say that you know I scroll into view and then in text like whatever the text for this element so that you know it's scroll up to that element right so let's copy this code get back to our test class over here and then I will say over here scroll we'll say scroll this is the until scroll until what's the uh, product name the year say year Jordan year Jordan 9 okay so here this is the code and up over here all we have to change the you know the element uh, the text so what's the element of the text so let's go to there so uh, sorry let's select this one instead of that one so let's go a little bit down Jordan 6 Jordan uh, year Jordan I believe uh, year Jordan 9 we can select this one the reason over here because year Jordan 9 there is another one Jordan 6 so we'll see that you know how you can select you know one of the uh, specifically one element out of you know uh, multiple elements from the same uh, screen right so we'll see that so we'll select this one okay so let's go to so we have to how we're going to look at that one let's go down and make sure that you know you open your inspector I hope that you all know you know to because we need the inspector we need the inspector uh, APM inspector to you know inspect our element right so a little bit down uh, where is that Jordan 6 Jordan 9 right up until there okay so let's open your inspector so here is my inspector and before you, you open your inspector make sure your server is also up and running right so other uh, otherwise your inspector will not work so let's uh, refresh it so that we're in the same page it can sync with that okay now you can see now let's see that how we can select this so let me so this is my you know the the product so if I just select this one let's see what do you have so we have there's a long X but definitely we're not going to use what else we have we have text we have a text and we have class and also source ID source ID it means ID okay so we can use source ID but before you use source ID you, you will see that you have to make sure this source ID is whether it's unique or not so if I select the other product the another one the Jordan 6 you will see the source ID for this one is like also com dot and sample and the slash is product name and for this one it's also you can see exactly the same source ID right so the both of them have the same source ID so if they are both of the same same source ID so you know if I use this uh, you know we cannot use this uh, the the ID or element uh, that's uh, a locator that's uh, represent multiple elements right maybe if we go even up you will see so it will scroll up until over here so and then when I will use this one it will find there is a two different locator I mean two different object right the element so then how we can you know specifically use what elements or our attribute we can use to define specifically look at this this object this uh, uh, product still we can use there's a class but you will see that the class also for both is the class is same too you can see the class is same too right so uh, let's use the source ID since this source ID it's the same for both you know both uh, product so what we can do we can use driver dot find elements so that it can find multiple elements using the same locator same ID and then we can get that you know what size method to see that how many locator is finding by this using ID then we'll use a for loop and inside the for loop will uh, will run a loop and inside the for loop you know will every time it will traverse if you know following this uh, uh, following the index number it will you know get the text for the for, from the first element 
our first you know the product whatever the text from there we'll get the text retrieve the text and we'll compare the text as per our you know our expected test so what about expected test for this one our expected test over here here Jordan 9 uh, you know retro so if it's a match then we'll, we'll, we'll say okay we'll put another if condition and it will go inside and we'll say following the index number we find the match you know click on up there okay then it will be clicked okay let's let's do so I will use this source ID okay let's get back to over here so I will say uh, this is the right place okay here we're going to say okay let's go here let's make a comment so we're going to over here we're going to say scroll until so this will is scroll and then select uh, here Jordan Jordan 9 okay to do this we're going to say driver dot find elements so in this time at this time we're going to use find elements since by uh, by it was ID right so we're going to use ID so and then so I hope that you understood why you're using elements because the, this is the attribute using for the both elements right and when it's, it's even a scroll up until this you know it's a scroll there's a two Jordan and both of them have the same elements right same attribute so we're using this one that's why uh, driver dot find elements so that it finds all both of the product multiple product and then we're going to use the size method to get the total number of elements right and then we'll put since and size method will return the number so we can put this one in a variable we'll say count variable and then let's so integer right so count variable have the total number of elements it's finding by this locator right so, so from there I'm going to use a for loop let's run a for loop for integer i equals to zero then I less than count count and then I plus plus right so that so it's count okay of make sure that it's, it's the same okay and then the body inside the for loop so what, do, what are you are going to do so we're going to cover we're going to save inside the for loop using the same locator from this locator from you know from this total number of elements following from there you know get the index number following the index number which is the i so when is i is zero it means out of this two element you know when the first element you know, get the text get text okay so we're using get text method okay so this is the locator is identifying is locating two elements so out of this two element follow the get follow the index number the index number it means one is index number i equals to zero it means the first one and for the first one get the text and that text let's put in a uh, variable so let's give a name a product product name okay and then it's, uh, it will return as a string right so this product name will have the text from where following the index number when it's a first loop it means index number i equals to zero out of these two elements or whatever the element is finding you know following this locator right then so every time it's get the text it means one locator one single element out of these multiple elements you know i will make a check so i will see i will, I will do it if can if if I'm saying if product name so the whatever the product name I'm getting from the first loop equals ignore case equals ignore case I'm comparing what's my 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 condition the comparison would be that I'm looking for the product or whatever the product I'm looking for what's the product I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the product is this one so for this this is that what's the text this is the text right so this is the this is the one I'm looking for so I will compare my desired product this is the product name 
text so every time it will get the uh, you know running the loop it will during the running the loop it will get the text from the first product and then it will compare with my desired one if it doesn't match it will go back to the for loop it will go back to over here it will increment the value of i from 0 to 1 then it will con check the condition is still is true come back and then now is i equals to you know 1 it means the next product out of 2 the next one will get the text from the uh, for the next one puts in a variable again it will compare my desired one you know so this loop will keep continue until it find my match so when f it will find my match what i want i want you know it select the one you know following the index number so whatever was the index number whatever the was the loop number you know following that loop you know click on there so to click up there you know um, I will say you know uh, uh, it will where I'm going to click so it's found uh, over here sorry here so when it's found that right so when it's found the product so when it's found the right product over here for this product you know I want to click my add to cart right so when this loop is continue it found the by match so my compiler or driver will be over here so for this in for with this product there is a add to cart so I will click I have to click add to cart other than if I just directly if you see if I don't specify my product first you know if I want to directly click on add to card over here the, it will come add to card because in the add to card it has the you know you can see the ID tax it's both are same for all the product if you select this one you will see this this is the ID and tax is all same and even class is same so that's why we have to run the loop and get the specific match so that my uh, driver it's right now over here so from here you know I'm going to now when I will click on uh, you know I will pass this ID source ID so this will be uh, you know specifically will click on at this add to card not other add to card right so let's go back to my code here I will say inside there so I will say out of this I'll say again driver dot find elements still I will use find elements because it is the same locator it's represent two so out of two you know following the index number whatever was the index number right it's found my match so click on the the the, uh, the nearby one right so driver dot find element then by dot ID so this is the locator this is the locator for add to card add to card right this is the locator for add to card and since this is the same locator for the both add to card for the both uh, uh, product out of this you know I will say you know use the same get ID following the get IDs which was the match because this is the code inside the if right this is the code inside the if so if the body will come over here when the match will happen so when this match is happen it means our driver is right here you know in you know uh, uh, following this this uh, product so and inside the product you know I I'm passing this locator which is also still represented you know all of the add to cart from there but you know when you have a match so differently before you have a match you know it's following one of the you know in uh, loop number so here is the I'm following the same loop number uh, you know following the same loop loop number and then in out of this two add to card you know click click on the one which is now happen after we get the match right so I'll do that uh, over there click okay I hope that you understood that it's a simple concept and we use this one this concept so many times in the in the automation you know if we are used to do the selenium automation or you know other type of automation you know you use a lot of times for loop and inside the for loop we use if to make our you know do the verification to do the comparison so that we can narrow down one specific element okay so it will supposed to click on the add to cut that one okay 
so after that so we're we're done here so where is the for loop for loop is there so it is the done over here so let's go back to here so it's supposed to click on there I mean finding over here click on add to card over here and then we're supposed to click on the card right so let's go back to our our here our APM inspector just to refresh and then over here so let's in inspect this one and this one we have ID you know so this is very simple it's straightforward direct ID so we can use this one ID this ID okay so here so we'll say driver dot find element by by dot ID okay and then pass the ID right and what do you what you are going to do for this locator we'll just perform the click right so it will click so let's get back to there and right here so we're going to click on there right so let's click and here you know you will have you need to do more uh, verification over here you have to confirm that whatever the price is a price is matching you know when you select uh, it, it was a display in p4 but I'm not going to uh, going to do that uh, that verification because uh, uh, this lecture is going to be then uh, uh, really really long my intention over here to explain and see how we can handle uh, you know when you have a hybrid you know uh, view right your uh, your native app to the hybrid you know um, I mean web view how we can handle that kind of scenario so so to make it short from here you know I'm going to click on visit the website this button so that it takes to me the the web view all right so let's get back to our inspector over here refresh it now here so let's inspect this element over there what do you have uh, we have ID we have maybe this class I mean this uh, you know, tag name we can use that source ID so let's use you know I don't want to take the uh, risk so let's use the ID again okay so let's get back to our code so again over here we'll say driver dot find element and by by dot ID okay and then click on up there too right okay and then and then let's what else then what happened then so after here is the now interesting part is coming so after that you click on there you know as soon as you click on there you will see it will take you to the web view or the browser view we can see you see it takes to the Google page which is the web view so now and inside here what I want I want to type up there inside the search box so I, I want to type say code in box okay then hit enter so that's what I want so how I'm going to now move from app view native app view to the web view how I'm going to move if I just you know write regular over here so to, for the search this is just in you know, a browser this is a browser right it's a regular browser so to select or spy this search box same thing you do in in selenium world right so you just you know go to uh, your you know your your google view right in your google uh, browser then you can just spy it you know you can just spy it you go there just regular because this is a browser and that one is also browser to over here you can see there is a name so we can use name attribute which is the value is Q so we can do this right we can we can do that way but let's see what happened you know uh, if I just wanna do this one can I directly write the can I just directly write the code directly something like that uh, so what I want, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I need to uh, type code and box, code and box in Google search. So to do this, uh, we can say driver dot, 
right? We said find element, so I have to sp spy the search box by, or what was that? Name, right? We have seen the name and then the value of the name. It's Q, right? It's Q, and then we can say send case. Send case is the method that that will help us to type inside this search box. So we'll say code in box, right? So can I do this? Yes, this will. This is the step. Definitely, we have to type. Definitely, we have to write. This script will help us to write inside the search box. But before you you know type into the search box, you have to tell your driver in a head driver, and you have to switch from Android view to to a browser view or web view. Because your driver up until now, up until now, your driver is still it's inside the Android frame, right? Android view, like app view, the native app view, right? It's inside there. So your driver have no knowledge that you know after as soon as you click over here, it's takes to the uh, you know the web view. It has doesn't driver doesn't know that. And to work on the web view from different view like from the uh, the mobile view or app view to work on the web view in you know, a driver somehow have to know it so the driver you know can work as for that okay so to do this you know uh, APM they have a they have a document I'm going to share this this document and you know, I'm going to share this document you know underneath the description you can have that link okay to do this uh, over here so you can see automating hybrid apps so over there they're saying entering to the web view context so there is a two context you know they're saying you know it, it the perspective the the automation uh, world so at the APM world there is a two context one context is uh, the the mobile context like uh, the app context another one is the web context right so web view is called the web context and there is a app context so you have to tell your driver to switch to move from your android context to to the mobile context i mean for to the web context to do this how we can do this to do this you can see there is a you know you can go through this uh, document you know i'm not going to go line by line but over here you can see there is an example there and they're saying you know there is a method you know there is a method it's called get context handles method this get context handles method it's help you to get the both of the context you have like your and your app your mobile context i mean your android app context native app context as well as also the web view context so it will help you to get the both context if you're familiar with the selenium if you know that selenium you know there have a also another similar type of method get window handles method that help you to get the you know a session id for your child window so if you if you have to switch around from your your default window to child window so you have to first know the get session session id similarly for mobile you know it is called context you know so for, for web view there is a context and also for the native uh, app is there is a, it's a context so right now we're in the native app context so we when you have to you know before we do anything on the web view you have to get the name of the context of the web view and then you will you know pass that name to your driver something like that over here over here they're saying you know driver dot get context handle so this will help you you know this will and and this will get the both the context right now is of present your your app your native app as well as your web view so you can put in a variable the context name and you can see this is since it will return to context so you, you and you have to put this one in a set right and it's a string type and then you can run a for loop for each loop for each loop it will help you uh, you know it's for each loop I hope that you know or enhance for loop what it does it's run automatically it find the how many you know uh, how many return you have following this variable so this is the variable right so over here and then you put another name you give another another variable and then you know every time it will run loop when it will run you know from here you know it will it will get the whatever 
whatever you know uh, the 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 return it's coming from from this one the first times you know it will get the first uh, return and it will put in this variable and then you know if you want you can get that you can print that the variable so it will print the first you know the return name from the set container and then it will run another loop and for the second loop again from this out of this these variables because this variable have the both context name for the second loop second uh, uh, you know a turn it will get the second context name and puts in the new variable so you have to put the new variable and then and then you know you if you print this new variable uh, again it will get the print the second context name so this way you can print and you get the name both of them because we don't know the what's the name so we have to know the name first okay so we have to know the name first so let's I can copy this code you can copy this code and let's get back to our code there okay so here first so first you are going to type this one driver dot get context handles okay this will get the context this will get that both context name this will get the both context names okay which is that your native app as well as your web view app and it puts in a variable and this is a set it's a you will see if you just hover your mouse on in this method you will see it will tell you you know it is the list of list of the context name okay so it will tell you that you can see this over here it is a return type is a string and it is a set uh, from and set is comes from the java collections right so so you have to put the return type is a string and also set right so import the java utility the package related package for the set click on there oh. okay and then i'm using for enhance for loop or for each loop where you have this variable who have the knowledge the both context name right it is and then colon and then you can say context name okay so this is an individual this is another new variable so this and this variable and it's return to have to the same like your uh, this one have the return to a string and inside that you are you know say, print, printing that this context so for the first loop out of this you know out of this uh, the both list for the first loop it will get the first one it will get the first context name and it put in this variable and then I'm printing this one so it will print this one so it will print out something like you know so first whatever it is like it will print first your native app context name and then uh, again loop will come back it loop will continue as long as you have the number of context holding this variable this variable so there is a two right now it's a two context one is web another one is native app right so for the second loop so it will get the name of the context for the web view and it will place in this uh, this our new variable so if we print this one it will get the our web view too so now we why we need to print because we we need the exact name so that we can say after that we can say hey driver you know we can pass the uh, you know uh, the context exactly name so that it can you know go up there so something we have to tell so driver dot then there is a method is called context methods context method driver dot context method then you have to pass the context name for for the web view you have to pass the context name for the web view context name for web view okay so but we don't know what is the name that's why we have to we have to you know print it so let's copy this one so I'm, I made it in a comment so that you know so up until now we have to run it so that we can get the print okay okay so let's run it before we run it just let's uh, minimize the app so that it okay let's run it hopefully everything looks good it should good okay let's
Okay. I can see the server has been kicked off. Okay, you can see the app is is launching. Looks good. Okay, looks good. So it will go scroll down up until Canada. You know, this next time when I will run it, you know, I will change uh, instead of Canada, maybe you know. Uh, another country because Canada is uh, kind of way down it takes a little bit extra time maybe you know Austria or Australia or ba even Bangladesh you can see Bangladesh is uh, way upper right Okay, Canada should be there. Yep. So it should select, so it's selecting. So it will type Jennifer, select a uh, female, click on Let's Shop. Pretty good. And then it's supposed to again start to scroll up until our product is called Air Jordan 9 Retro. Air Jordan 9 retro so you should scroll up until here then supposed to click on add to card okay it's going all the way down it didn't select why it didn't select so I think it will fail yeah it failed okay let's see why it's failed so this is our result uh, no such element found element could not be located at the page of okay given okay so it didn't able to because you know we it was clear that it didn't able to find that one okay so let me close this and then let's go there so it didn't find okay so I scroll up until oh I see this uh, when I did a copy and paste you know for the scroll scroll for copy and paste over here the text you know the text I didn't change the text okay so that's why okay um, what was the exactly the product name it was uh, Air Jordan 9 right so Air Jordan 9 so we have to I forgot that to change it so Air Jordan 9 right so save it so after it finds so it should now find air jordan 9 and then um, and then over here you know i found the multiple elements for this okay use the size method okay should be good now let me run again and also you know what let me change over here instead of bangladesh in canada let me make it bangladesh You scan it's a little bit way down okay so that it, the process gets a little bit first okay let's run it again sorry guys that's why you know I said you know uh, we need a couple of uh, part there will be another part so that you know we cover each and every details that you will have a clear idea how to handle the hybrid uh, the app right if that's not all done you know you will see there is a few more steps right? and I want to you know going each and every scenarios and even and and see what kind of issue you can face you can encounter and how you can resolve it okay I could make everything's right at the first sh first shot but you know sometimes I'm making I know it's like you know I'm, I'm going to make some intentional fails so that you can you have the clear idea like you know when you're going to do it 
pretty much you will face that kind of issues so how we can resolve it okay so this time it's supposed to go up until and select the Bangladesh started scrolling okay let's click up there yeah and type Jennifer select female let's shop awesome now again start with scrolling up until the product we select Air Jordan 9 okay yeah it's clicked on add to card and then click on there here we go and click on visit to the website to the complete here we go and then it's stop okay so it's it's worked as far you know our uh, our code so what happened it's click up it's went up until here right it's it's click on on the button right did I, okay and this is the card and after that this is the you know on the button to proceed right so in here it's and then it's supposed to give me print me the the boat I say okay invalid selection exception the name is not supported session oh I have I keep this one okay so I have to sorry I have to you know uh, make this comment yeah that's why uh, it didn't it didn't go through because it's right away it's moved to this line okay But it's still I'm looking for the print. So you know what what I will do after it gets print context name. So this is the context name. So over here, so what I would do after it's clicked, so after it's clicked on you know this is the click for the proceed, so which is text to the web view so let's put over here because to load the web view it takes a little bit time okay so let's put a thread dot slip so I'm going to add adding another weight so that another weight over here putting a thread to slips maybe it's another five to six minutes five to six seconds sorry so it's a milliseconds right so okay so because you have to remember so you know this is the intentionally I did so that you understood the issue you can face so here after we click the the proceed button it's supposed to take me to the web view so it's a web view when it's it moved from you know Android view to web view so it that to load the web view it takes a little bit time but if you don't put the thread or slips in it, your driver will not able to even scan this code and, and go through this. And, and that's why it didn't even show me the print, for, you know, the name of the both native view and web viewers uh, uh, context name. Okay. And make sure that also you, you uh, comment this for the, uh, uh, you know, the typing, the uh, uh, send keys, uh, you know, passing this code. Because, you know, until we don't get the name, we're not able to. Well, we shouldn't or you know uh, run that script this uh, this line right save it again and run it again okay here we go started to scrolling to select the country you will find the Bangladesh let's click there let's click there enter the name female let's shop 
then it started to scrolling for the product here we go that's our product Air Jordan 9 Retro click on add to card click on the card then click on visit to the website to complete the purchase so we put now wait this time you can see now it's loading it's now it's loading it's showing right it's showing so it shows it you will you, you saw that it, it was you know it started to loading and it shows you know it means it's go so because of these things has happened that at least we can see that there's another you know the view was loading we you know uh, because we put over here six seconds sleep right so you can put a little bit longer even if you want to see it okay seven seconds so seven uh, you can seven thousand millisecond right and you can see now it's passed there is no failure and we want to see the both session name where is the session name let's go the context name the both context name let's go over here you can see over here okay there is a native app so this is the context for the native app and this is the web view this is the context name for the the web view okay let's copy this and then put in it uh, put in a notepad okay so I put in a notepad because we need this we have to pass this you know both so right now we're going to pass this is the one this is the context name for the web view right so now we'll go back to our code from here so we'll say this now you are going to say after this it will say driver context so this is the context name of the web view let's copy and paste this is the context name of the web view so you're you know now driver have the knowledge about the web view context name now if you say okay hey driver driver find element by the name uh, it's q q which is the search box google search and send kiss you can say call you know the coding box right then it will able to you know click up there i mean type up there okay let's let's make uh, make another thing so after you know it's move it there before it's you know you would type something let's put another little bit uh wait too because it's you know you have to adjust you have to use the common sense it's uh it's moving from one one framework like right? one frame to another frame so you have to give a little bit more time so that you know your driver you know it can move up there and it started to work on slip sleep I mean you try without a slip see that you know if there's any issue if you find any issue mismatch or it's not finding the elements then it's not put some slip okay wait or you can see explicit you can put some explicitly wait up there too you know whatever you, you prefer okay and after that so you write code in box on the you know in the search box and now then hit enter to hit enter you know we have so for the same we'll say for the same locator you know after you type the code in box I'm going to hit enter to hit enter you know we have to use the send kiss method inside that you know there is another method it's called kiss dot enter right kiss dot enter kiss dot enter method it's it does that it's perform that enter action you know it send the enter action to this locator you know if you are familiar with this uh, selenium this is the in you know, a selenium method that you know how to perform the keyboard action so to do the any keyboard action you, you know any you can use the keys dot whatever the you know button you want to perform and you have to pass this one as an argument within the send kiss method okay so it's supposed to you know click up there and then you know uh, so let's see wh what's next so you click up there and then what happened uh, let me open that so just uh, you know I'm, I'm just going back to there that scenario uh, go there any item I'm going to select I just want to 
show you what's next so after you click in there so it will load the web view that's why we need a little bit you know wait so that you know we get enough time to load the this view and after that you know you, you click on this search box that's what we already wrote the code and then type over there code in box okay you type over there code in box and then we said we're going to hit enter so we're going to hit enter okay so this so after you hit enter you know so after you hit enter you put a little bit you see you put a little bit also wait times to see the response right so you will see there is some response so it will show some of the result so so that's what we did right so we we did this up to and so it will come up to this page that's why we need it wait and after this done so that's all we're testing we're doing to test over here in real life you know probably you have to enter the, your card information you know the, your all the stuffs and then you have to complete the uh, the purchase right uh, but in our case that's all we're doing in the web view and then if we want to go back to our our app view so what do you have to do you have to click on over here the you know you can see there is a the back arrow back button over here so click on there click on there it will take you back to the you know it will take you back to the your app view okay so how can we do this so to do this to do this so here we we hit enter so hit enter let's let's uh let's put another another so because when you hit enter you have seen that you know after you hit enter it takes a little bit time to load your response like based on your whatever the search result it shows it takes a little bit time. if you want to see that let's put another thread dot slip over here you have to do a lot of adjustment because uh you know uh, the driver uh it is working on multiple you know uh, the view right multi frame inside and uh, I mean uh, you know the different different uh, uh, context so is multiple context right so your driver so that cannot face any you know syncing issues so that's why over here we know this we're using multi, you know very frequently uh, thread to slips but you know this is the better option best option so that you can have this you don't have the syncing issue and after that you know you need to click on the back so uh, to come back your uh, you know your app view so to do this you know driver we have a method it's called press key press key press key method press key method and inside a press key methods you have to pass arguments so uh, this is the method hover your mouse you can say add argument to match press key method inside the key event right so key event you can see so you have to pass exactly there is a key even as an argument you know so what key or so we're using a back key right so there so let's use that as an argument you have to pass key even so key even itself is a class so you have to create an object of the key event class key event key event right exactly when you hover you will see the name exactly so you will just copy the same name key event right this is that and then it has you can see import key event uh, make sure you input the right one even so here is a import key even the second one the IO APM not the first one okay select this one so he, hover your mouse again it is saying that you know syntax error insert at the to complete argument so it needs another argument list also for this is because this is the object this is another this is an object of the key event class right so inside you need to pass in another argument which is the actual you know uh, the the event that will help you to click on the back button so what's the back button so argument is like Android Android key Android key dot you can say back if you just click on back you will see find the back back so this will so this is the Android this Android key back will apply using this key even object you know falling inside this press key method okay so this will perform the back so after your back 
you know so after you're back uh, I will press another two seconds so that when you because you, we are click on the back so it you know it needs a little bit time to to come back to your app view so uh, so now if you want to do anything in the app view you have to even though you we click on the you know the back button so physically it's moved to there but your driver our driver is still is there right our driver is still in this you know in this web view so it is still up there you know you have to tell by the code hey driver come back to the our app view to do this that's why we need to again use the use the you know the context name of the uh, for the native app view so this is the context name for the app view similarly like we paid over uh, place over there let's copy this this code and put it there and then change the you know uh, name right change the name over there instead of web view so this is the native ad, uh, app context name right so this will now your driver is back to the your 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 you know in your native app view because this, that's the way you know you have to use the context name to back and forth in different view whether it's the native view or the web view okay so let's run our our code for the last time okay let's see how it goes so let me just put the comments over here this is the you know uh, pass the native context context name okay run again okay here we go here is our app so it should start to uh, scrolling okay so it should click on Bangladesh here we go and enter the name select female let's shop looks good should find our product or desired product yeah I can see let's click on add now visit to the website to complete purchase okay it's will wait a few seconds like six seconds to load the web view here we go we can see the Google page looks good then it's now supposed to enter we said code in box okay but it's close it didn't enter okay it didn't enter and then if you see the result it says ran one pass zero it's failed yeah we saw this it didn't enter the search box uh, in the code box then it didn't hit uh, you know uh, also it didn't select so what happened over there it's saying no such no such context exception because you can see the read the error over here it says no such context exception it didn't say no such element so if it didn't find that element for the search book it would say no such element but it's saying no such context so context it means it didn't even find the context like you know the context of to move our driver from app view to web view we pass the context name we know this is the context name we pass over here this is the right context name because we printed here and we can see you know uh, this is the right uh, context name that we got from there 
right from from their output but it is not it didn't even you know find that you know it's you can see no such context apm uh, context exception an unknown server error occurred so why it didn't find why even our driver didn't even move up there it didn't go up there why it didn't there is a some reason okay so we'll figure out this part in our you know the next next lecture okay let's see that you know where the missing part and then how we handle that why the driver didn't go up there even though we did the right things you know according to the APM their document you know this is the right things we did but there is something we missed so we'll figure out this part in our next next lecture thanks a lot and please please if you like the tutorial you know uh, share and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and share with others have a good one bye bye Thank you.